This is Colonel Paul Tibbet of Miami, Florida, commander of the Atomic Bomb Group. Colonel Tibbet, will you tell us some of your reactions over the target? Well, as the bomb left the airplane, we took over uh, manual control, made an extremely steep turn to put as much distance between ourselves and the explosion as possible. After we uh, felt the uh, explosion hit the airplane, that is the concussion waves, uh, we knew that the bomb had explosion, had exploded, everything was a success, so we turned around to take a look at it. The sight that greeted our eyes was quite uh, beyond what we had expected because we saw this cloud of boiling dust and debris below us with this tremendous mushroom on top. Uh, beneath that was hidden the ruins of the city of Hiroshima. This is Commander Frederick L. Ashworth, United States Navy of Wenham, Massachusetts, technical member of the crew in the second atomic bomb raid. Commander Ashworth, give us some of your experiences over the target of Nagasaki. There was a tremendous response tension as we approached the target because we had just failed to uh, be able to bomb our primary target. Uh, we made our test as we proceeded into the dropping point. I knew that everything was functioning perfectly. At that time, the bombardier took over. He did an excellent job, for as soon as the bomb was released, there was, consider there was considerable relief. And I knew when I saw the flash of the explosion that the second atomic bomb had been successfully delivered to the en enemy.